Hi guys, welcome to another video and I just want to make this video to tell you guys that I'm in Bali right now if you've not tuned into my previous videos that I make about the capsule hotel about this hotel room that I'm in or the resort whatever you want to call it then links are in the description down below so I thought I want to make this video to share with you guys my experience here in Bali and I've been in Bali for seven days now and I've stayed at the capsule hotel for seven days and I decided to book myself a fancy hotel here not really fancy check out the video down below and here I have a list of five things that I really like about Bali and I'm sure you guys can relate as well with these five things that I have written down here and if you've never been to Bali then you're missing out <laughs> <laughs> you're seriously missing out well all right so just a little background here I've been solo backpacking Bali and I met people along the way and we went to watch the sunset the sunrise and we hang out and which was fun and I'm gonna do another video as to why I like um, solo backpacking and what are the challenges that I face when solo backpacking here and yeah so i'm staying in this um, hotel here or resort here and the view there's a pool behind there behind this tree and yeah we're gonna keep talking here and then we're gonna continue on to the to the pool so just like what i like to do i'm not gonna edit or um yeah i'm not gonna edit this video i like my videos to be raw here so we we connect better so the, n the number one thing that I really like about Bali and I'm going to try and do this is I like the beaches. The beaches, oh man, they're, they're one of the best beaches in the world and I've been to Queensland as well. And I think the beaches here in Bali rivals to that of the, the Gold Coast here and the Great Ocean Road as well, which is in Australia. And yeah, I'm going to try and fly my drone here and probably give you guys a footage of the 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 beach here but it's not going to be in this video and the second thing that i really like about bali is that no before i tell you the second thing let's go to the swimming pool here see you at the swimming pool The second thing that I really like about Bali is meeting people of different background and I realized that the people here in Bali, especially the tourists, as well as the locals here, they are really really friendly and the sun is really getting on my nerves here, but <laughs> let's take the cover here, but yeah, the people, the locals here in Bali, they are really really nice and people are really friendly and the people that I met from Indonesia themselves who are traveling to Bali they're really nice as well and I guess when everyone is solo backpacking it's, it's best to make friends because we need to make friends when we're solo backpacking if not we'll be lonely and you wouldn't want to be the guy that just sits in the, the hostel and not speak to anyone else because that's kind of annoying because the reason why people stay in hostel is to meet different people and if you're not really that outgoing or not that talkative or you're shy then solo backpacking is not for you especially in Bali whereby people here they really want to have fun really want to meet different people and yeah let's get out of the sun here Okay, while we're walking, let's talk about the third point here that I like about Bali. And that it is cheaper, oh, I apologize if it's overexposed, but it is cheaper than Australia and definitely cheaper than Singapore. The sun is really up here and 
yeah but anyway it is cheaper than Australia and Singapore to stay in a resort here in Singapore it would cost you about hundreds and hundreds of dollars and here it's just 20 bucks per night so <laughs> that's what I like about Bali the third thing is that it is cheap and I've stayed in similar place like this in Oz but it is expensive as expensive in Singapore if not even more expensive but yeah we have facilities like the swimming pool, the spa here and this place here just cost me about 20 bucks per night yeah let's go and find somewhere else to sit here I should have just stayed in my room you know what <laughs> I'm going back to my room I apologize because it's dark and I'm going back to my room all right The fourth thing that I really like about Bali is that it is free and easy and I've been to several of the nightlife here, to the club here and you can see that there's underage kids drinking, taking a shot here and it feels weird because that never happens in, in my country and I'm not culturally shocked because I know what I was expecting because I knew that Bali is a free and easy country and so if you ever go to the clubs and you see that there's underage kids drinking then don't be surprised because they do allow that in Bali I don't know maybe but I've not seen any police around here and I've seen armed guards before but so far on my seven days here I've not seen like any police loitering around here so which brings me to my fourth point I've mentioned earlier on that Bali is a free and easy country here or place alright I'm going back to my room well I apologize about that guys I was, I was gonna go out and share with you guys the swimming pool but the sun was really high up here and it doesn't really do well for the video so let's go back to so here we are again <laughs> where we started let's just fix this angle up and fix the exposure so yeah the, the final point that I really like about Bali the fifth point here is the atmosphere especially in the beaches in the beaches of Kuta and Changu as well Legian Beach and I've been to a lot of the beaches here and it is absolutely fantastic the atmosphere is phenomenal here and I've been to several clubs though I never drink because I don't drink but just to see around and explore and there's a lot of people getting drunk <laughs> and a lot of people losing control of themselves I guess because Bali is a free and easy country but just an, an advice here that if you do not want to be taken advantage of then you should drink wisely and although alcohol here is super cheap not only alcohol, a can of coke is absolutely cheap as well but yeah, drink responsibly and always respect the the culture here, the local culture here and I've seen a lot of times whereby the local people here are really unhappy about people not wearing clothes into the shopping mall, not wearing shirt when they're walking on the streets here so if it's your first time going to Bali then try and respect the, the local culture here because I can speak Indonesian so it's easy for me to interact with the local people here and a lot of them most oftenly if not everyone I've spoken to they're not really happy about people disrespecting their culture here and there's a lot of these things in Bali whereby it is an offering that you see on the street here I, sadly I don't have a photo of it but maybe I can put some Google photo in here but do not step on those things and you can see like birds and cats eating them but do not 
step on those things because those are offerings and you have to respect other people's culture and religion as well so yeah that's enough <laughs> that's enough rambling already for now and I still have um, one more week here in Bali and I'm going to dedicate this one week not vlogging because I just want to enjoy and take time to myself and besides I've already done all the video ideas that I want to do in Bali here so I'll see you guys on my next video on my next country whereby I'll be doing a video of why I like solo traveling which will be in a different country and I'm gonna try and fly the drone and probably insert clips of it on my next video as well but until then I'll see you guys on my next video thanks so much for liking subscribing to my channel and thanks so much for going on this journey with me and yeah I'll see you guys on a different country bye bye take care of yourself